Okay, first thing we're going to do is create a shelf and um, wall against which to present our mug. So I hit S for sketch, I want to draw a rectangle, two point rectangle, and I want to draw it on the side plane here. Zoom out a little bit. Then we need to draw the backboard, take that up to about 500. And then hit stop stitch. Click our home view. Now we want to extrude out our shell. So we set that in Q. We want to go in both directions. Let's take it out to 2000 millimeters in both directions. We want to make sure that we're going to create a new body for this extrusion. Okay. We might need to switch the sketch back on to do that. Then we want to do the backboard. And we want to do symmetric. And we want to do 2000 millimeters. Check its new body. Click OK. Right. The reason that we've created two different bodies there, obviously, is so that we can assign different materials to them. Now, next thing we need to do is select our mug. In the bodies list, and then press M for move. And this lets us present our mug in a way that we can see the detail we're interested in. So the handle and the filleting. Let's move that in so we're comfortable with that. And it, right. So, So we've committed to the Now, we need to set its appearance. So I want an oak shelf, drag that on there, and I want to use a white glossy enamel as my backdrop, like that. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to switch to the render workspace. We'll get a view of our mug that we're happy with. That's good for me. All right. Next thing we're going to do is set up our scene. So we go to scene settings. Let's just close that so we can Scene settings will appear. And we can then choose whether we're going to use environment or just a solid colour. And we kind of want an environment to get some reflections and things on the mug. So we can go to the environment by the current environment that is selected, and this is projected on a sphere in which the shelf and the mug reside, is the skyline. Um, so we can try other ones just by dragging them from the list out onto the um, render itself. You can see their grid light, try rim highlights, try sharp highlights. There's all kinds of other odd ones like this. Give warm light to go. I think that's quite good. So I think we'll go with warm light. There's other settings you can do. You can change the brightness of the light. You can take it up to 1200, a little bit brighter, 1100, 1100 is good. Um, and then you can play with focal lengths and depth of field and all kinds of other stuff. Um, let's take it. Take the blur down. Either to do that, it's just the last render that I got out was quite a, quite a short depth of field. So, We've established that scene setting set correct. We've got a view that we like. <clears throat> We've got two options here in canvas render or cloud render. Sorry, in canvas render or render. With the render, you can um, either do it locally on your computer, which will make your computer run quite hot, um, or you can send it off to AutoCAD, providing you're happy to spend uh, some of the credits that you have for AutoCAD. I think you get 8 or 16 a day, I'm not sure. Um, so, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a cloud render first. And I'm going to go for image size of just one megapixel, which will use up one credit. Okay, cloud renderer, I want final or standard quality. I'll go for final quality, we'll get a nice picture out. Then I click render and it will send it off to the cloud. Um, and once we get it back from the, well, it'll probably take 20 minutes to come back from the cloud and I'll show you where you'll find it once that's finished. I'm not going to send that now, so we've got a copy of this one. We go close. Second kind of render we can do is an in canvas render which just renders this view at this resolution of your window at the moment. So we can hit in canvas render, go, and it will start to try and draw um, 
an in canvas render of whatever it is that you've modeled. And within a couple of minutes, you start to get a good idea of what the image is going to look like. Um, it uses up quite a lot of CPU power. Um, uh, you'll certainly hear the fan start up on your computer if you do it like this. Um, at any point in the in canvas render, you can um, capture the image. So once you're happy with it, you know, down here you've got the iteration uh, count. So far it's done five iterations, it can go on pretty much for forever. The final quality is up here somewhere, that's probably a few minutes away. So you can do, um, you can capture that image once it's at a standard you're happy with, and it'll just save it as a PNG or a JPEG file in the machine. Okay. You'll also see, once you've sent off a cloud render, a render gallery down here. Uh, see if you can see that. Yeah, so when you send it off to um, AutoCAD to render, you have a little toolbar pop up down here with all of the renders that uh, you've done of this model, and it will show you how long it's going to take before the one comes back from AutoCAD that you've recently sent. 